Morning guys. This morning I'm gonna take a trip up to Sedona. I was curious to see how this thing would do longer road trip wise, going up mountains three times its range, having to stop at charge stations. So we're gonna see how this goes. I picked the nicest day out of the week. We got some cloud coverage today. It's about 5.45 in the morning and that's a little bit later than I wanted to get started, but that's okay. Let's get going. We're at 94%, so it'll be cool to see how you know the battery does going up hills uh, if it just starts draining we'll see it'll be cool i'm excited we're gonna have a good time i got a bunch of stuff packed i got a cop packed snacks i'm ready to nap next to these charging stations i don't care i'm gonna take my road trip and my solo and uh, i'm gonna have a good time doing it pick the cloudiest day of the week good day for a road trip just got to our first charging station we're over here at the anthem outlets at a banana republic and this is the last stop before i want to say 60 miles until camp verde or right before camp verde so yeah we'll see how long this takes let's see how much better we got yeah we have 32 percent so uh, it is 6 51 in the morning let's see how long this takes i have my longboard with me uh so we can take a little ride around town here this little this little outlet mall to skate around and if i get tired well i brought a cot and i can just roll out the cot and take a nap somewhere um yeah we'll see you back here and per usual except the charges 49 cents per one kilowatt hour started got everything you can need in the back so we're at about 70 percent now it's been an hour so 38 percent about 38 percent an hour not bad just kind of sitting here waiting on it <laughs> so uh, i'll catch you back here when it's done charging and we can head out and what i'm noticing is at the last 10 percent the i'm not exactly sure on terminology but this seems to be at the lowest level it's been in the entire charge cycle it was taking a while i think it was 88 percent when i left it only at 90 percent after about 20 minutes of riding so it is slowing way 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 down i don't know if that has something to do with the way that these batteries are charged if they just slow way down towards the ten, last 10 percent something unique to the car or you know, the Blink charger itself, not sure. And just made a quick phone call to James at Electromechanica. Once again, shout out to him. He's been the best the entire time. Um, and he let me know that that's completely normal. Uh, again, like I said, completely new to the electric vehicle world. So it was new to me, but apparently it is completely normal for the last 10% of these batteries to slow down substantially to protect the battery and all that good stuff. So I think I'm going to take off right now and head to the next station. That way we're not sitting here all day waiting on 9%. And there we go. All right. So it's 60 miles from here to Camp Verde, which is the next charging station. Let's hit the road. If you've 
ever driven a large van, I like to tell people it's kind of similar to that. It's got a little bit of a sway to it in the wind, but that's about it. Finally, some downhill. Going 74, full power regen right now. Foot off the gas. Accelerator, excuse me. By the end of the hill, I am going about 66, so it does have a pretty substantial drag on it to help it regenerate that power. A little incline, it's not too bad. Pretty nice size hill right here. It's getting even steeper now. I do not advocate anybody holding their phone while they're driving. Desperate times, desperate measures, am I right? I'll be honest, it is not struggling nearly as hard as my Ford Fiesta, my 16 that I used to have. Already impressed with how it's coming up these hills. Oh Lord Jesus have mercy, this road is full of bottles. Oh Lord, oh Lord, we've done it now. Solo's worst enemy. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Let's hope the on-ramp is better than that. Jeez. the charging station which just so happens to be a business that's what's so cool about this app you just never know where you're gonna end up and uh little problem here this doesn't appear to fit this so in a little bit of a pickle here but you know what guys these people are absolutely god sent because they have a converter box here you know what? These people are absolutely amazing. I cannot stress that enough. All right, sweet. And we're in business. There we go. 13%. I'm going to grab me a snack out of here. Grab my longboard. I'm going to go explore this little town. You know, signs like that that make me think there might just be river access down there. So I think I'm gonna go explore, see if I can't find a river. And lo and behold, there is no river access. I guess they weren't lying. Chilling at the playground of Camp Verde until the car's done charging. It's a nice view though. Good looking little town. Okay.
Okay, so a little bit of a detour. After finding out that we don't have the right plug for that outlet, um, that is a personal business, so, um, and they are loaning me their converter. So uh, by the time I'm heading back this way into town, it will be much too late for me to be bothering them. I've had to do a little bit of a reroute. They have plugs in Prescott that are open 24 seven. Might take us a little bit longer to get home. Car's been doing really well. Climbing those hills, no problem. The charge is going down a little bit faster than what I was anticipating. It made me a little bit more nervous, but it seems like it's gonna be just fine getting home. Alrighty, coming back to the car and it looks like it is only at 79%. So we're gonna have to hang out here for at least a little bit longer until it gets to 90%, then I'll feel a lot more comfortable taking off. By the way, it has been about two whole hours. So this one is just a tad slower than, you know, the last one that I was at and some of the other ones I've been to, but this is priceless. I mean, there is no other charge station for 60 miles in all directions. And this is the only charge port in the entire town. So big shout out to Edward. This couple is extremely nice. In the plug share app, that's all you can see is just overwhelming gratitude for these people. And what do you know, we found the river. Or at least part of it. Oh no, the car's not quite bad. Still waiting on my car, so I decided to get myself some coffee. Can't say I'm mad. I had to stop in for a coffee because I'm just falling asleep out there waiting for the car to charge. Almost done, it's probably at 91, 92% now. What are we at? What are we at? 90%, all right. on the table for them and thank you thrice more edward and your wife thank you so much amazing people i just can't get over how nice those people are they do not have to give people access to that plug and they are totally so generous to do so all right we made it to our next stop right before sedona best western Free charging station, we always love those. And false alarm, you do have to pay for them. Left my car charging there for a minute until I realized uh, it was getting no power at all. So, I'm gonna go up to the front and pay for it. Power is flowing now. At 73 right now. It's 250, just about. That was really expensive, by the way. That was $10. So, I just paid 10 bucks for, I don't know, probably 11 to 21% depending on how long I decide to say. Yikes. And here we are walking through another town, the town of Cottonwood. I'm kind of sad that I paid 10 bucks, you know, for like I said, 11, 21% max. At the end of the day, I thought about it, 11%. If it's $10 that comes down to 11% keeping me straight on the road or not, that's the best $10 I ever spent. It could be gas, am I right? Not that bad, 10 bucks. Super windy today though. And I am certainly feeling it in the solo. It's pushing me all over the road. Alrighty, we are at 90%, so we're gonna get the show on the road. I don't wanna wait for it anymore. Alrighty, finally back on the road. Okay, and apparently these charging stations are not for the general public, regardless of what the PlugShare app says. They pretty much told me they'll make a one-time exception for one hour of charging. So shout out to them, because that's about exactly what I need. So seriously, big shout out to these guys. Sedona Marriott, good for you, good on you. Appreciate that. All right, all right, all right. 
No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, baby. Let's check her out. Oh, that sounds promising. That click, the last one did not. Yeah, baby. Good, two, go. Yeah. Gonna have ourselves a little mosey around Sedona. Finally made it, how about that? Ain't that something, ladies and gentlemen. We actually made it up here. No issues. So we'll get some riding time in, let that charge up for like 40 minutes. Maybe we'll get a nice thumbnail picture and then we'll call it a day. We'll start the quest back. Okay, guys, I am eager to get back home. So 87% sound good? I think so, it sounds good. All right, I'm gonna head back to that Best Western and uh, charge again since I paid for the whole day. Perfect. And look at that, BS just long enough to steal one more percent. Let's go. Station. 92% on our way. Actually getting pretty chilly up there right now. Okay, I've made a critical decision to risk it for the biscuit. I am not going to stop in Prescott. I am just going to straight shot it from here back to the outlets at Anthem. It is a 70 mile drive and I've got 92%. So we're just gonna go for it. Hopefully I don't pay for my own patience. spot we were at first thing this morning but here we are it's eight o'clock at night and i think we're gonna try to get away with some stealth camping too Let's see what we can do but first things first and it looks like the last person is leaving the outlet store so we might be able to get away 
the little stealth camping. Take a look at what the car looks like. Actually probably be better if I just pulled it forward a bit. Okay, and I actually did end up finding a dark corner. Probably get away with sneaking a few hours in. Okay, and I got my tarp here. Let me go ahead and lay this out real quick. Very nice. And we've also got a self-inflating mattress. Already, and supposedly that just starts inflating itself. I guess we'll see. And here's the camp spot. She's back here in this dark cubby corner. This angle you can't really see. There's only a small little section where they might be able to see my feet. And I'm gonna make it right there. And look at that, the light just turned out for me. How quaint. That worked pretty well. Let's pack up and get out of here. being lazy with it now. Man, unexpected stealth camper. Major, major shout out to Steve Wallace. Learn from the best. Oh man. Oh, and it is 10, 10 pretty much. I guess we were here for about two hours then. That sounds about right. Let's go home. I almost forgot my tea. No, let's go. All right, all right, we're gonna get the rematch right here. Right here. Let's go, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I let him have it. I let him have it. Limited power? What do you mean? And there you have it, folks. The 300 mile trip. Subscribe for more. Thanks, guys.